Now, you know, I may not be the craftiest person in the world, but today we're going to be building some DIY spider rig, tight line, pulling crankbaits, catfishing rod holders. So, we were at Walmart the other day. I've been talking on my lives about wanting to do some tight line and wanting to pull some crankbaits and wanting to catch a big catfish dragging some baits. So first and foremost, you gotta have some daggone rod holders. So I found these on sale for $4. They're not the best in the world. We're not trying to be the best in the world. I just wanna be able to go out there and troll on my boat. So we got these and I was like, well, I can drill them to the boat and yada, yada, yada. But then that's, you know, having rod holders like that. And I don't think that's what I want. So I ended up going to Lowe's and this was uh, $19 worth of stuff. What I got is a, a threaded rod. This is a 3 8 16 one foot threaded rod. These are three or four dollars and I got two of them. And I also got two 3 8 nuts. These are about 20 cent a piece. So we got those because I know these will thread into the bases that come with the rod holders. We also picked up this uh, slotted angle piece of metal. I was going to get a straight piece of metal, but it had too much bow in it. And I couldn't really find anything better than this. Well, in my price range, there's obviously other stuff. There's like uh, a tube, but it's like $40. This was like $13 for this piece of metal. So this piece of metal is three foot. And the idea is I'm going to cut this in half and we're going to put two rod holders on each side of the boat. And we've got four bases, so I'm, I'm going to be able to tight line at the front and put two bases at the front. And when I want to pull, I can put them in the back. So that's the whole idea. So now we got to cut this thing in half and figure it out from there because I'm sure there's going to be something I'm missing. So y'all take a ride with me. Let's figure out how to make some daggone rod holders for the cheap. Because I want to say I have about 40 bucks invested into it. Are you tired of this always happening? Are you tired of having to take your straps and figure out a place to put them after you take them off your boat and then you gotta go get them when you get back to the boat ramp? Not no more. Let me introduce you to the Shrapino. Shrapino reached out to me for a collab and I couldn't say no. This is a bad little dude. So the coolest thing about this, it's only two bolts and it's on your boat, ready to go. And one of the coolest features about Strapping O is you hit the little unlock button, it comes out, and it goes right back in. So not only are you going to decrease the time it takes you to trailer your boat, you're going to decrease the time it takes you to get out on the water. And with those extra, you know, two, three minutes that you're going to save from taking your other straps off, putting them in the truck, putting them back here, Hey, that could be four or five fish if you get on the right school. But we're gonna install these on the boat while we're doing these rod holders. I'm gonna have a link in the top of the, of the description. You can go grab your own. And you can get the strapping. Back in my boat, uh, you could probably drill a hole through here, but honestly, I don't have a drill that'll do it. But I do have these. And conveniently, the mounting bracket is curved. So, I tighten this up onto the bracket and I'm going to put it on the bracket just like this and we'll be ready to go. So I'm going to do that real quick and show you all the final result and how this puppy looks. Got this thing installed right now. So now all we got to do, point the camera up and do this a little bit. So I can see the hook. The hook's up here. There we go. So now, like if you have it, if you have it in this position, you just go straight down, you press this white lever and pull out at the same time. So we'll do that right now. You pull out, you clip on, and then you hit the unlock button, put it up. And then you crank it till you can't crank it no more. And as the old saying goes, that ain't going nowhere. Now, when you get to the lake, you do the same thing. You come down here, you put it in unlock mode, 
you hit this one time and then you just take it off and you're ready to roll simple as that guys like i said top of the description shrapano you can grab these off amazon and it'll get you on the lake faster and home faster too first thing we got to do is measure this out and i'm sure it's three feet but i want to cut it directly in half and i also want to take the side grinder and grind down these sides so they're a little bit safer so you don't get cut when you're walking around the boat or if a fish you know gets the line caught up or whatever so, you know I, i'm good at making baits and catching crappy guys so if i'm doing something wrong i'm sorry i like i'm not good at everything i i, I try to figure shit out as i go but all right so yeah this is exactly three feet so one and a half will be right there. All right, we got that cut in half. That's probably a safer way to do that, obviously. Wear some glasses and, uh, wear some gloves probably but you know we redden it so now we're just gonna clean up these edges get the pointy sides off so i don't stab myself or something and then we'll try to figure out how we're gonna put it together you know they're, they're still a little prickly but it'd be all right we're gonna paint these anyway ah, so now the original idea, now more, the more I think about it, I might have to go get uh, some more of these 3 8 nuts, but we should be able to do at least one side for the video and then I can go do the other side later. So the idea here, we're gonna go right in the middle, which would be, let's see what the middle is here. That's one and a half. So the middle will be about right there. Uh, yeah, right there. So we're gonna go right here through the middle. <laughs> we put it one too far over. So is that in the middle? Or is this in the middle? Yeah, that looks like to be in the middle. All right, so we're gonna do that and we're gonna put this one on top. All right. So originally, this is my idea. Don't know how well it's gonna work. We gotta grab a rod holder. I mean, obviously we gotta torque these two bolts at the top. May put some super glue on them so they don't come undone. We'll grab one of these right here. So there's one of them on there. Now we just gotta put another one on. All right. So here we go. Here's the first little test run of it. Obviously, as I'm building this thing, I'm figuring out that I need some kind of locking nuts on both of these and this. But as far as, you know, fishability, you'll be able to put a rod in here. I gotta figure out how to tighten this one up. This one's pretty tight, but we'll tighten these two up. And we'll head to the boat and show them what they look like on the boat. All right, so we got one of them installed. This right here is our final product. Got our ACC up here. Definitely this piece of metal right here probably needs to be upgraded. But, I mean, the base is pretty sturdy, but... If anything bigger than a crappy 
hits that piece of metal, it's gonna flex a little bit. So if you are gonna build these, I would suggest getting a better metal than zinc. But all in all, I should be able to pull some minnows along, get something done. We may end up uh, going to get another piece of metal sometime fixing it up or we may just put them directly on the boat. It was a fun build though. Definitely, definitely has potential. We still just got to figure out the little kinks, kinks to it, but hopefully that'll give you all some ideas how to do it yourself. But definitely could have turned out better, I believe. <clears throat> but I, as much as I'm going to use them, because I mean, let's be real, I'm not exactly the biggest troller in the world, but sounds like fun. So we're going to try it this uh, winter and spring. But anyway, guys, if you like the video, like the video, subscribe if you ain't. I'll catch you on the lives and see you out on the water.